Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. <laughs> Not gonna see a whole lot of me in this. Um, but today I got a fun little unboxing because this is something I'm hopefully gonna be using more on the channel here. Uh, not in the near future, but once I get everything figured out, we'll uh, definitely showcase a lot more of this. But what I got here is the Elgu LCD 3D printer, uh, the Mars 2 version. Uh, I also got another box back here. We'll open that up too. That one has the curing station and the materials to make the molds. Uh, this is the actual 3D printer. Uh, main reason I got this is because I would like to, with the customs and stuff, being able to do more unique things with it. So just like altering a figure, maybe printing out a figure and then making that into an action figure, statue. Um, possibly if you guys have 3D models that you've made, we could showcase them on the channel, like do a bunch of fun stuff with it. So got this. Uh, I know the build thing for it, I think it's like six, it's about six inches by three inches. Uh, so it's not super huge, but for what we do on this channel for action figures, stuff like that, it should be a good size. And then depending on how this goes, might get a bigger one or maybe more of them. So we can maybe actually possibly sell some figures. So, which would kind of be the dream at the moment. Okay, but. Uh, currently, I'm fairly novice on the whole 3D aspect, like I messed with Blender a bit back in the day, and I kind of got the gist of how it's supposed to work. But this is packaged very nicely. I actually got to <laughs> save some of this foam, it gets kind of useful. Alright, so we got our user manual. Uh, got some extra film. Here is the printer. I assume... Oh, does it come with a scraper and stuff? That'd be sweet. Oh, it does. Oh, it's metal, though. That's kind of scary. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to use plastic. Oh, neat. Okay, well, at least we got, like, all the stuff here that I can... It's even got a little mask. Oh, that's kind of sweet. I wasn't expecting it to come with this much. Uh, but, all right, so we'll open it up. But you get the spatula, get some extra little mask. I don't quite recommend these ones for resin, like if worst case scenario, use this stuff. Uh, but this is a resin printer and resin can be harmful in large quantities, especially with contact. Um, so I recommend using a respirator, which I have, uh, cause do my dremeling and epoxy putting stuff, I tend to use it. Uh, got a measuring cup, crap ton of rubber gloves. We have the power source. Oh, it comes with a USB. Sweet. I was actually going to go pick one of these up today, but if it comes with one, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, but you'll need this to import your files onto the printer. Uh, get your Allen wrenches and some screws. I think this is for the build plate. I think that's what the one thing was in. Get some funnels. Uh, this is for the build plate so you can pour the stuff off. Got the rubber seal for the printer. Uh, oh, okay, cool. It's got a little plastic one, sweet. And then universal storage sleeves. Oh, it's clippers. Oh, that's pretty dope. I already got one of these, but I'll take an extra. <laughs> Not complaining. Uh, if you guys were wondering, uh, this guy cost, it was 300 on Amazon, but it had really good reviews. And I've seen, when I was looking up stuff, uh, there was some other YouTubers that use this one, and the, the molds look really good. And I want to go resin over fill it because there isn't as much cleanup. So say, if I want to print something off and send it to you guys, I don't really have to mess with it, person, mess with it here. And it makes it easier for whoever I'm sending it to, slash working on it myself. But I'm gonna stand up real quick. Just to get this guy out of the box. Oops, hit my shop lighting. Eh, eh. Not sure if you guys see my pajamas. <laughs> Old ass pajamas. Um, I think that's everything in the box. Just some more foam. We'll save the foam for other crafty related things. But, let's 
start getting all the plastic off. <laughs> also, it's kind of sad that I just kind of like this one because it was red. <laughs> like, there's yellow and green, and I'm like, I kind of want a red one if I can get it. And then this guy was one of the... To be fair, it also worked out that, like I said, it had good reviews. It's got nice stats. Um, the laser print, the UV printer for it is supposed to be really fast. Um, I've seen some videos, like, it's a little slow going down and up, but still, it prints pretty quick. Um, so say, if I want to do, like, a 6-inch Mudo, it shouldn't take the entire day to make one. Hopefully, anyways. But, start removing some of the film. Slowly get the top off. All right, I will say one thing about this is they package this thing super well. And I appreciate it. Appreciate them for it. And it's always nice having a bunch of extra foam laying around in case I need to ship things myself <laughs> or what have you. But here's the bill plate. Uh, it's got the little plastic protector on it. We'll remove that. We'll be needing that guy. That's for this. Here is a reservoir for our resin, uh, which I did get some, so we can. I don't know about testing out this video because it comes with a a thing. I guess we could instead of because I was like I already have some 3D files that I kind of want to try on this, um, but I guess we could try what it recommends and then we'll move on to that um so got a little reservoir i'm gonna actually set that upside down because i don't want to get it dirty uh, let's peel this guy off but here's the lcd screen where the uv light comes out of that cures the resin uh the resin is uv cured uh which is the reason why i got a uh, curing station because it's a two-part step setup so it'll make the figure out here, but I have to finish curing it after cleaning it on the other uh, a little device. I'll show you guys here in a minute too. Um, not noticing anything out of the ordinary. There's a little bit of residue on the back here, so I'll have to wipe that up before we get started. That is the fan, because this does have a carbon filter. Looks like uh, I can kind of level this out too on the bottom. Okay, cool. That's nice. It's my, I don't know how even my table is. It's, go, it's gonna end up sitting over here when I all things are all said and done. So, bag out of here. I'll start assembling real quick. I know one thing they recommend is not having this in light. I think that's why this is tinted. So uh, UV doesn't affect it. I wouldn't quote me on that. <laughs> Uh, I'm still going to kind of, I got a window over that way. I'm probably going to cover up from now on. Uh, going to kind of look like I'm doing crack down in my basement, but hey, whatever. Uh, so this goes on here. This just helps with the seals because uh, supposedly it filters out the resin. I hear there's still a strong resin smell that comes out of this thing but i don't know if, i just don't think that's something that you can um probably get around like you're gonna have the smell no matter what my only thing i worry about this kind of setup is that over time this thing's gonna want to come off granted i don't think it's probably that hard to get a rubber fitting that'll work on here it's like i'm already knocking it off right now and i haven't even got it on yet that's nice. Then I'll just sit on top and make our seal. Cool. All right, so that's all set up. Next, I think is getting this thing plugged in. Try and make, make double checking to make sure everything turns on. My only concern is I don't know how much power this thing's going to draw. Um, I currently got a little plug set up over here, but I don't know if I'm going to have to have its own separate thing or not. 
Good trial and error. It's not like it's gonna be plugged in all the time. We're gonna be running all this stuff off of this one plug. But I generally have my shop plates on with it, so there we go. So this should just plug back here. Crank it on. Oh. You guys can see system is on. It's a little loud. Not super loud. Uh, I need a, okay, so manual. It's good to go up. There it goes. Oh. I don't know. Okay, I thought it was just maybe me. It's not the slowest thing ever. Got to brush it off real quick before I do. I'm gonna have to clean this off before I do a print, just so I don't have to worry about things getting in the resin vat. Oh, I was gonna say it looked like it was warped, but I think that's just jelly. <laughs> I think it's just some petroleum. All right, so positive thing, it did turn on. Oh, okay, so it's already got some on here. I guess that's just an extra then. Um, do I got a big brush back here? It isn't covered and stuff. Definitely got to take some wipes of these things. All right, so calibrating. I know it said A4 paper, which I think is cardstock, which I do have some around here. Okay, so this should actually work. <laughs> Problem. I don't got. I need to cut it down a little bit so that it'll fit. fit on there and I think that's just so you don't have to, you don't scuff the screen while doing it oh bust out the manual okay so I need to loosen the screws jeez it's definitely in there there we go got a bit of a wiggle do it I should mess around with it too much. It's taking forever. That looks about right. So then press it down. Okay, so they're saying that since that's too tight, I want to go up slightly. There we go. And then set my zero there. Firm. Good to go. Alright, looks like I got one more thing where I just gotta test the exposure. Looks like the light did turn on on the inside, so pretty much all golden. Uh, so this is for draining. I don't have um, uh, the stuff to properly do this as of yet. Um, I don't like. I have all the materials here that I could safely pour the resin because I needed to go pick up some gloves too uh, but I don't have any of the alcohol to clean up the resin afterwards so we'll come back to trying this bad boy out probably in another video uh, but for what's here I'm actually really really happy with everything like it comes with all the parts you get extra things just in case something gets screwed up they give you all the tools you need to actually like clean up your resin kits same with the scraping stuff which I could see them like even a couple of masks, like, I'm not, can't really complain. Uh, this guy was 300 bucks, so, um, well, I'll know more in the next video on the way the testing is to make sure that, like, this thing is perfect. Um, but for what I see here currently, I'm super happy about it. I was just making sure that it works. Um, so, there'll be a part two to this video, testing it out, plus then we can tr make sure that the curing station I got also works properly. Um, so that is all done. Exposure complete. 
All right, we're golden. So now I'm just gonna go stick this in the corner and then we'll unbox the other package. All right, cool. On a high note too, it's already super level. Like that ain't jittering around, so I don't have to mess with that, which is a bonus. I actually think I'm gonna keep that this box too. Just so I got um, ugh, something to store all my stuff in for that so I can just have that hanging out on the side. But we'll shove that stuff down because we still got one more box to undo. So this one should have a couple guys in it. Uh, the least exciting of which is just the, oh, that's a big bottle. All right, left my bottle of resin. <laughs> oh, there's a little brush too. All right, I'm so, like, just in terms of what you get, I'm so happy with this company. Like, this is, they didn't say sponsor or anything, but, like, Random little extra stuff like that always makes me super happy. Um, because, again, it's not something needed, but it's cool that like they still incorporated it into the product. So I got ceramic gray here because if I want to paint, gray's already a nice starting point, so we're good there. Um, at some point, I like to get, like, there's, like, translucent ones and stuff, too, because uh, those would be cool for making, like, fun little fancy projects like earrings, stuff like that, because that's what my wife wants to do with this. But we got our SL1 curing station. One thing I will state about this is, um, right after I bought this, they sent me an email. It's was like, hey, we know there's been some issues with it. If you have a problem, let us know. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Slightly scary. Um, but so far, I'm optimistic. Also, I probably should turn this thing off. And that's because I need to plug this in to try it out. Um, so our little manual, just like what we had at the other one, I'll probably, again, store it in that same box. Oh, uh, the packaging isn't as fancy for this. But still does the job nicely. So that's the inside. It's just... Uh, looks like three UV lights, LED setup, and then a bunch of reflective material um, so that you get full circumference. Uh, okay, then everything kind of fell apart, but we're good to go. I think that's it. I'm assuming this is probably my power supply. Why is this already spinning? Oh, you know what? I think it's because of my lights. My lights activated. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that anyways. I... Eh. Eh. But it has a battery. <laughs> Am I never gonna need the battery? Maybe it's when I put this over top of it, it's not gonna do it anymore. Oh, you know what? It's probably that doesn't need a battery, but the lights do. Okay, I'm. We're learning. We're learning. So, um, it's not the fanciest looking thing. Like I don't know. It looks a little cooler on the package on the website anyways but it looks like it should get the job done uh because i mainly just wanted it i was just gonna get like a uv light but i'm like for it's like 20 extra bucks you get like an entire housing so i'm hoping having done it okay so yeah it was just my studio lights turned that on gotcha which now i just engaged them again Uh, so we got a timer. Oh, I see a light. Is it just... Oh, it's touchpad. That's pretty sweet. So, there it is on. It does turn on the rotary. Seems like everything will be good to go. And I can... Reset shuts it off. And then 
I don't know. Okay, so <clears throat> you want to change the timer on here, you just touch this. That's the reset, turn it off, and just set up everything, and then that starts it up. Pretty sweet overall. <laughs> I don't know how cool it's going to be, but it's got a good size because you know you can sit your figure on it, it'll spin so like the carrying will be uniform. And I kind of like that it was entirely like, housing instead of hopefully it gets everything. Um, so pretty pleased with this too. I don't know where I'm sticking it yet, but we'll get to that in a point. So like I mentioned earlier, this will be a two part video. So the next video will be printing that off, uh, doing a print. Uh, probably the standard one comes with this, so I think it's like little rook chest pieces. Um, make sure that works good. And then try in the carrier station, see if it fully cures the stuff. So, gotta go get some alcohol, and then we'll get on to that. So, help us defeat those guys just by hitting that like button, subscribe, and come arrange your day. So we also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook, guys. Like, keep up with the day with channel. Donate, we greatly appreciate it. Also, hoping to do maybe something special with this for our Patreons. Um, so people currently on there would probably just get the stuff pureed and then the rest would be like if you start at a certain tier You'll get something I'm thinking maybe making like s something like Unique that I might try to sell eventually too, which would maybe be like Hedora soap or something It's one thing I thought of is like clean yourself with the dirtiest kaiju um, But we'll mess around with that more here in the future. But anyways, see you guys. Bye. -bye.